morning Elisha. I heard you and Rosie are back to being besties again. How did you hear about that? News travels fast around here. You should know that by now. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Since you and Rosie are friends again, I thought you could do with some bondage and a long time. So I bought you two some tickets to go and watch the 10th Sixty Shades of Grey film at the cinema. Thanks Jacob. That's so thoughtful. But just one thing. Don't ever say bondage again. Rosie and I simply just need to do some bonding. There is a difference. And you would obviously know that. I keep forgetting that you're scum of the earth. Jacob these cinema tickets are out of date. By about seven years. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I wasn't sure when you and Rosie would sort out your issues I saved them for you. That was kind of me wasn't it? Whatever. You've reminded me with that whole bondage situation that you have two options. Be sacked. Or go off for sexual health rehabilitation center, change the way you think in the dirty mind and get your job back when you return. What have you decided? Actually, I'm leaving for rehab today. There's no way I'm being sacked. I will see you in a few weeks, months, however long it takes. Hopefully years. Well have a good time. I guess I will find someone to take your spot while you are gone. Hey Jacob buddy. Where are you off to? Shouldn't you be working? I'm leaving today to go to a sexual health rehabilitation center. I don't know when I'll be back. Listen Lee, are you still looking for somewhere to work? Ah oh, well I hope you have a great time. This is such a big opportunity for you, you can't not go. And yes I am, why? Well, since I'm leaving I need to get someone to take my spot. Why don't you do it? No way. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait to tell Delia. Jacob you are the best. Have a good time at rehab. Delia. Delia. I have the most exciting news. No. I can't believe it. Elisha has been pressed to death by a steamroller and breaked up in a nunnery. Yay. No. What? I got a job at Mike's Tasty Dishes now. We're not on minimum wage anymore. Oh. Well it's about time you pulled your finger out of your arse and got a job. But it's good. Shame that Elisha isn't dead though. Isn't it? Maybe one day she will be. Now come and give your hobby some affection. Yuck. Get me a bucket. That is nasty. We can make love if we want. It's our house Janice. You two make me feel so nauseous. Your relationship makes me want to puke. So embarrassing. I can't wait to escape you and flee the nest. Yes yes yes. I'm heading out. Continue with your love making. What? Sorry. I just thought I smelled a queef. Will everyone please stop making fun of me? I am sick of it. No no. I'm not making fun of you. I can actually smell a queef. As a matter of fact, I did it. So what's up with you? I'm supposed to be moving schools next week Monday. I have my last few days left at Street Central High. I feel a lot of pressure about moving and saying goodbye. I just don't want to be made fun of again and be embarrassed. Why would you be sad about saying goodbye? They are all horrible to you. I don't let my mom and dad's weird behaviors and temptations get me embarrassed. You should use me as an example queef. In fact, I am more than an example. Yes yes yes. I am a role model. I do look up to you. You totally understand me you see. I don't want to move schools. Not really. I would kill myself if I couldn't sit in the school's beautiful library that has been perfectly architectured and read all those fascinating books. <laughs> In fact, you have inspired me today, Janice. Well, I am very inspirational. Screw the new school. Today is special. I am from now on going to be proud of myself for who I am. Because I can't change it. I am Queef. And I'm the biggest and bestest Queef the world has ever seen. Queef.